this video shows how to perform the software verification after loading software media onto MARF5A EGPWS. This is applicable for following MARF5A EGPWS part numbers. This is the sixth video in the series of six TDB data loading videos. You may watch other videos for more information on data loading. Refer service bulletins, that is SB, for different MARF5A part numbers available in Honeywell technical publications for detailed instructions. A verification of the software media installation is done with the self-test function, here in often called ST function. Note that in order to start the ST function, the EGPWS needs to identify that the aircraft is on ground. Insert a 600 ohm audio headphone jack into EGPWS, which is required to hear the software version annunciation. The headphone jack location is just below the SD button in front panel of EGPWS. The ST function can be started from two possible locations, aircraft cockpit with the EGPWS test switch or SD button behind the front panel door of the EGPWS. Note that the use of the cockpit ST function can be different from one aircraft to another. For example, the ST function can be started when the GPWS pull-up indicator is pushed or when a separate ST switch is pushed. The EGPWS ST capability consists of six levels to aid in testing and troubleshooting. We need to go to ST level three to verify the current software version loaded. To help go through the different ST levels, there are two cancel functions. Short cancel, push and hold the SD button for more than 0.5 second, but less than two seconds. Long cancel, push and hold the SD button for more than two seconds, but less than eight seconds. While ensuring that the aircraft is on ground, make sure the EGPWS circuit breaker is in and power to the EGPWS is on. Follow the below procedure to quickly move to self-test level three, which gives system configuration. Push and release the SD button, which starts the level one SD. After the level one ST message starts, do a short cancel. This cancels the level one ST and starts the level two ST. After the level two ST current faults message starts, the level two ST can be canceled by either a short cancel or long cancel. Press and release the ST button. Within three seconds of hearing the message, press to continue. This starts the level three ST, that is system configuration. Verify that the correct application software or database version installed is heard in the headphones. When the level three ST is complete, the message press to continue comes on. If the ST button is not pushed within three seconds, the ST sequence stops. This is how one can verify the software loading to ensure that the correct TDB version is loaded. We hope you enjoyed this simple video produced by Honeywell Aerotech support team. Have a great day.